Okay, so hi everyone. I hope you can all hear me good. All right, so tonight we're going to talk about inverted minors. Probably all of you play inverted minors in one way or another. So what I'm going to talk about today is let me just hit the basics real quick and then talk about some of the kind of things that can happen in an inverted minors auction and what you really need to be thinking about and trying to do. So I'm going to suggest for the first uh, couple of hands, you can just watch all the hands. And then and later I'll ask you to kibitz either north or south. North and south are doing approximately the same thing in these auctions. So it isn't really a big deal which one you watch. You can watch one for a while and then switch and watch the other one. East and west is irrelevant. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just talk about, quickly about what inverted minors is. If your partner opens a minor, and let me just do that here. Okay, so let's say partner opens a diamond. Number one, most important of all, if you have a four card major, you bid it. I don't care if you have seven or eight diamonds to go with your partner. If you have a four card major, you bid it, heart or a spade. So inverted minors is not used when you have a four card major ever. It is used when you don't feel comfortable in bidding no trump immediately. For example, it might happen that you have a whole lot of diamonds and, and two double small doubletons or something, and you're not convinced that no trump is the right place to play the hand. So you don't really want to bid that until you find out if partner has some stoppers in things. So in that situation, in, in classic early standard American, if you bid one diamond and then two diamonds, that was just a, a simple diamond raise. Said, so, yeah, I got some diamonds, usually four, sometimes five diamonds, and your typical six to nine points. And if you had more, if you had, say, five diamonds and 10 to 12 points, you made a limit raise. Well, inverted miners does nothing but switch those two bids. The initial bid is two diamonds is a limit raise, 10 plus points. It's not a game force, but it is 10 plus points. So it could be strong enough for game, but it's at least a limit raise. And instead, three diamonds becomes the preemptive bid. And that makes some sense because if you're just going to preempt and then shut up, you might as well get your preempt in early before the opponents have a chance to do a lot. So this is the inverted minor situation. One three denies a four card major and shows length in that suit because your partner might not have a length in that suit. Shows length in that suit. Three is a preemptive bid up to about nine points. And two diamonds is the 10 plus. So far, this is probably you all already know this. Now, the purpose of doing this is to try to find no trump. I mean, nobody wants to play in a minor if they don't have to. Much rather play in no trump if we can. So the object of the bidding is to find out if we can play in no trump when we have a good hand, like the, the 10 plus points. So here's an example of a typical inverted minor hand. I'm gonna open one club. My partner has a very weak hand, weak enough that doesn't even really wanna play this in no trump, but has at least five clubs, because I might have only three, and generally poor hand. Not interested in game, just wants to get in the way of the opponents. So this is your typical three club, inverted minor bid. As far as I know, it's still alertable, at least in the ACVL, as is the two diamond bid. And once you make that bid, that's kind of it. Unless opener has some kind of a real powerhouse hand, 
they're going to pass this because it's generally a pretty weak bid. Looks a lot like this one. Now, in this case, I had four clubs. I don't even have to have that. I can do this if I have open three clubs. So I just want to get this out of the way because this is the boring part of the class. There's really nothing to do here except to know the requirements for making the three bid. One diamond, three diamonds, or one club, three clubs. So does anybody have any questions about that? So the real interesting stuff is when you do have a decent hand, and you want to investigate for no trump. So I bid a club. Now North has 13 points. That's game going values, but a weakish heart holding and no help at all in diamonds. Uh, Doug, the answer to that is as weak as you feel like preempting. The more clubs or the more of the suit you have, the more, the higher you can risk raising it. Uh, yeah, well, I shouldn't say that, risk raising. You can, the higher you can bid the three level without quite as much risk. But there is no point count on it. If you want to do it with zero points because you've got like nine clubs, feel free. It just tells partner, I don't have a good hand. I'm not interested in bidding on. I just want to play three clubs and... If the opponents bid over us, well, let them and we'll try to set it. That's kind of the meaning of the three level bid. Okay, on this hand, North does not have a four card major, would like to play in no trump, but doesn't have the controls to just bid three no trump. You've got the points for bidding three no trump and people do this, okay? But wouldn't it be nice if you could find out if partner has a diamond stopper? So that's the purpose of the strong inverted minor bit, the two level bit. This starts a sequence that says, partner, I want to play in no trump and I want to know all what suits are stopped. I want to make sure that we don't have any unstopped suits. So the general rule is starting from this point, the next player bids the cheapest no trump stopper they have. Okay, what constitutes a no trump stopper? An ace for sure, a king queen for sure, a king jack 10 for sure, king queen third, king jack 10, all of those things are no trump stoppers. Queen third is not a no trump stopper. Queen 10 third is the marginal one, but we usually, I usually anyway, consider it a stopper. But it, it can't be King Doubleton either, because if you don't end up as the declarer, they lead right through your king. So it has to be something that you can actually control the suit somehow, at least some good chance to do so. So after the, the one minor two minor bid, the next person bids the cheapest no trump stopper. Don't confuse this with controls, which are aces and kings. This is a no trump stopper. And they just bid the cheapest one they've got. So in this case, South will bid two diamonds, saying, I've got a stopper in diamonds. Well, that sounds good to North, but Hearts is still a little shaky. So North can show a spade stopper and deny a no trump stopper. I'm sorry, deny a heart stopper for no trump. Okay, so by bypassing the two heart bid, North says, I do not have a heart stopper, but I do have a spade stopper. Well, South has king 10 third. That's pretty good. And not only that, but South can bid no trump and be the declarer now. So at least they are leading into the king of hearts. So North will bid, uh, sorry, South will bid no trump. Now, South just has your basic opening hand. Remember, North could still have 10 points. So two no trump. 
And then north can correct that to three no-trump if north has more points. Now, the, pers the first person who realizes, knows that all the suits are stopped, all the three other suits are stopped for no Trump. The first person who knows that bids no Trump. Two no Trump or three no Trump, depending on their strength, but they're the one who bids no Trump. So rule number one is, the first person who knows all suits are stopped, it's no Trump. So that's pretty straightforward. And this hand, it's easy. North will bid three no Trump, and you found your nice little no Trump game with all the suits controlled. Any questions about that? If I have zero to two points and five of the part suit my partner opened, I would make the three club preemptive bid, yes. With four diamonds and my partner opened a diamond, I would be a little bit more cautious about that. I, you can do an inverted minor bid with four diamonds, but honestly, I like to have five anyway. Are the stopper bids alertable? No. But the inverted minor bid is, the two club bid is alertable. And from that point on, the opponents are supposed to know if they don't understand something to ask. So two no Trump by South says he has heart stop because he already showed his diamonds, his partner showed spades, and he's got heart. So he's the one who knows, South is the one who knows all three suits are stopped. So South is the one that bids no Trump. Uh, aces and kings are stoppers for no trump, but queen jack 10 is a stopper. Doesn't have to be an ace or king. Even queen 10 third, queen 10 nine is pretty decent as a stopper. King double 10 is very shaky, unless you are definitely going to be the declarer. King Jack, even King Jack third, King 10 third, King Jack nine, any of those kinds of things are stoppers. Queen fourth is a stopper. You just, if you have four of something with an honor, that's enough to be a stopper. Okay, so let me get, try to get these questions in order. Okay, do I play inverted minors to game? I'm not sure what that means. Uh, elaborate, please. If South doesn't have a heart stopper, what do you bid? Now, there's the, the key thing that this class is mostly about. To bid the cheapest stopper I have for no Trump. King third is risky. And I have that in both red suits. But I, I would probably go ahead and bid two diamonds on this. Just because there are ways to deal with it sometimes. First of all, the ace of diamonds might be outside, and if it's not, sometimes it'll go um, diamond through, you play low, and then they leave again, and you get your stopper. So it can work. It's a little bit shaky. All right, now what partner is going to show a heart stopper if she has one? Okay, King Doubleton is not a good stopper. This should not be a stopper bid, even though I've seen people make this bid. Because if partner now bids some number of no Trump and becomes the declarer, West can just lead right through that King of Spades. Right? So in this hand, North does not have a stopper in either hearts or spades, and therefore, what do you do? You bid the minor. 
three club says, I don't have any more stoppers to show. And now, South, when South bid two diamonds showing a stopper, if South had stoppers in all three other suits, both majors and diamonds, she would have bid no trump. So because she bid two diamonds, we know that there's an unstopped major in the South hand. At least one of those majors is not stopped or she would have just bid no trump directly. North can't stop both majors and so signs off in clubs. Now, later, and on this hand I would, but later in the class, I'm gonna to talk to you about what happens, how do you show a half a stopper? Like if you look at the, the majors in this hand, both of them have a stopper between the hands. King, queen of hearts between the hands is a stopper. King, queen of spades between the hands is a stopper. And there is a way to find that out. And we will get to that a little later. Okay, so South, once again, South has a diamond stopper. That's the next suit up. So that's what South will bid. By bidding this, I'm saying there is at least one suit I don't have stopped or I would have bid no Trump already. Now, North has a stopper in spades and a kind of a partial stopper in hearts. If North is bidding in such a way that they're going to become the declarer, they can count King Doubleton as a stopper because the lead will be coming into the king. If North didn't have a spade stopper and had to bid hearts to show a stopper, I would not show a heart stopper with a King Doubleton. And then uh, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so South has six and four is 10, 14 and 10 is a little shaky. You can, if you're feeling aggressive, you can bid three no trump. If not, you can bid, you can pass two. Um, yeah, I can do a lead and save these hands. The lead is gonna be kind of irrelevant, but just to, so I can claim them. South has to have 10 points, but remember South, I'm sorry, North has to have 10 points for his two club bid. South open, so we'll assume South has around 13-ish. And so North, if North had even 12, North would bid three no Trump instead of two no Trump. He's got enough for game, he just goes to game. So when he bids two no Trump, he's got around a 10 or 11. And then South can use that to decide how high to bid. The first person who knows that all three suits are stopped bids no Trump. That's how you know. The first person who knows all three suits are stopped bids no Trump. So when your partner bids no Trump, that means all the rest of the unbid suits are controlled. No, I do not play inverted minors as forcing to three of a minor. We're trying to play this in no Trump if possible. So one of two things is gonna happen. Either we're gonna find out that we have all the suits stopped and somebody will bid no Trump, or we're gonna find out that we have an unstopped suit and someone will rebid the minor, and that's usually where you stop. So it's forcing in the sense that after the one, two bid, you're gonna be doing things, but you don't have to go past three no Trump if you don't want to. Could I repeat my explanation of why two no Trump and two spades? I don't understand that question. 
uh, is the assumption that partner bid two, that combined link constitutes a stopper. All right, I'm sorry. I'm totally confused by these questions. Let me start back here with, I answered Massey passing, oh, passing to no Trump. Uh, could I repeat my explanation of why Tuno Trump instead of two, instead of two, okay, start your question again and just type the question in fresh, Joe. Uh, okay, so Babs is asking, is the assumption that partner bid to something that combined link constitutes a stopper? No, that's, I don't think the answer to that is yes, but I'm not, I don't actually know for sure what the question is. It's the assumption, there's no assumptions in here. Partner either bids no Trump or they deny stoppers. Three no Trump if you've got enough opposite the opening bid. Yes, Mike, three no Trump if you've got enough opposite the opening bid. Two no Trump if you're not sure. North chose to bid two no Trump instead of two spades showing the spade stopper. Oh, that's not so much about the spade stopper. It, it says North bids two no Trump says, I believe all the suits are stopped. Okay. By implication, he's got a spade stopper because his partner might not. And he's got a heart stopper. So his partner bid diamonds, he's got hearts and spades. As long as he's a declare, he's got a heart stopper. So he's got hearts and spades stopped. So he knows all the suits are stopped. So he bids no Trump, two or three, depending on point count. But the no Trump bid says all suits are stopped. Okay, Fred, clubs is the suit we bid. We're not worried about stoppers and clubs. We have at least eight clubs between us. We don't care about club stoppers. That's going to be our source of tricks. So, so after one club, two clubs, the next cheapest bid I can make is two diamonds. If I have a stopper, I bid two diamonds. If I do not have a diamond stopper, then I look and see if I have a heart stopper, and I bid that. King X is not good enough as a stopper unless you are the declarer. To, if, if partners bids two no Trump, then he's got 10 or 11 points. So you should have at least 14 or 15 to bid three no Trump. Partner doesn't open clubs on two card on a two card suit ever, not if they want to play with me. This does assume that you are playing standard American better minor. Uh, is this the way the advanced experts play? Because I've heard that by bidding stoppers, you're drawing a map for the opponents. Now you see what you bid too much around people. Well, you know, Cactus, as I said, there are people who ignore the other minor and they just bid something to show they've got the major stopped. You don't have to do that. Inverted minors works very, very well if you just bid your stoppers. A good share of the time, you're gonna find out you've got stoppers in all the suits and it won't matter what the opponents think. If you end up with an unstopped suit, they will often know what that suit is, but you're playing in a Trump contract, so it won't matter too much. We can have seven useless clubs if partner opened on four, four, two, three. It's not seven useless clubs. If it goes one club with a three card suit and two clubs with a five card suit, you got at least an eight card fit already.
Okay, how do you show all suits stopped but forced to continue bidding? Can you be looking for a club slam? Yes, you can go through inverted minors, and as soon as you decide that you're happy with what you're hearing, you can bid for no Trump or just bid slam and clubs, whatever you think is right. There's nothing that says you have to stop in no Trump. Mary, we are going to get to half stopper showing stuff in a while. And for no Trump, if that's what you play as, as your Roman key card or whatever you play for ace asking. All right, now South has an inverted minor bid to show stoppers, has no diamond stopper, has no heart stopper. The first stopper that South has is spades. So that's what South bids. That tells partner, I have a spade stopper, but I do not have a diamond stopper and I do not have a heart stopper, neither one. And now partner knows enough to either say, well, I've got both of those so I can bid no Trump, or I also have an unstopped red suit. Let's play clubs. And let's see, North has seven, six is 13. That's enough for three no Trump. That says, good, I'm glad you got spade stopped. I got the other two, I'm bidding no Trump. Well, in the ACBL, two clubs is alerted as inverted minors, showing 10 plus points and five plus of the suit. That's all it shows. I'm, I don't know that that's anything different than what you're saying. Well, like any alert, if you are alerting something that there's any chance the opponent doesn't know, you don't say inverted, you say five clubs, 10 plus points. And if somebody alerts something saying inverted and you don't know what that is, ask. That's standard bridge. Okay, so in this time, South does not have a diamond stopper, but does have a heart stopper. So she bids hearts. North has a stopper in spades and in diamonds. So North is the one who knows all the suits are stopped and bids no trump. 10, 13 points, that's enough for three no trump. So sometimes only one bid is necessary. That tells the other person that all the suits are stopped. Well, if anybody's playing one minor, two minor is game force, they've got to have some other agreements in place to handle non-game force hands. So, you know, if, you, if that's how you play, then, you know, good luck to you because you're going to have some hands you can't handle like this. So what I'm, what I'm showing here, you know, the 10 plus points, this is the normal standard inverted minor convention, part of SAYC and two over one. But that doesn't mean that you can't modify it to suit yourself. So whatever you like is fine, as long as you and your partner are on the same wavelength. If I sat down with a pickup partner, I would certainly assume 10 plus.
Okay, once again, no diamond stopper, no heart stopper, but I do have a spade stopper. Okay, from North's point of view, hey, I've got diamonds and hearts, partner has spades. That's all we need. Five, 11, 12 points. Eh, I'm aggressive, I'll bid three now. 12 opposite 12 is usually good enough. Keep reminding me if I forget to claim that those who want to save this. Okay, South has no diamond stopper. Jack 10 9 fourths is a perfectly good no trump stopper, so I will bid two hearts. North now knows that I have no diamond stopper. I bypassed the diamonds. Yay on the subscribers. Thank you all. Everybody that hasn't subscribed, please do, because if we can get it up to 100, I can get a permanent link. OK, so North now knows that neither of us has a diamond stopper. So what does North do? Three clubs. Or if North feels he's strong enough, he could bid four clubs or five clubs, but goes back to clubs. Those dings are people subscribing. Thank you all very much. Okay, and keep in mind that all through this, the responder is denying a four card major. So even if South has four, four, two, three, that's not helpful because there's no major suit fit. Okay, no diamond stopper. Yes, heart stopper. North says uh, partner has no diamond stopper. Neither do I. Three clubs. Okay, now, South this time actually has all three suits stopped. It's got Ace of Diamonds, King Fourth and Hearts, Ace of Spades, stoppers in all three suits. The first person who knows all three suits are stopped bids no trump. So South just bids no trump immediately on this one. And then North, can decide. Now, South bids two no trumps, saying she doesn't have enough to go opposite 10 points. And North 11 is probably not enough. So we end up playing two no trump. If a responder has an opening hand and no stoppers, can he respond four clubs as an invite? If responder has an opening hand and no stoppers in any other suits, I'm not sure you can have an opening hand and no stoppers in any suits. I suppose you could invent one. But yeah, you can you can just bid, you can still bid two clubs because just like here, partner might very well have stoppers in all three suits. And if not, Partner will bid a stopper, and so if you realize there is an unstopped suit, bid clubs. Mm 
Yes, Miss Mesher, we've already talked about that. Some players play two no trump as both majors stopped. And if they do that against you, lead the other minor because they don't have any idea if they have the other minor stopped or not. That's actually a fairly foolish way to play this. Because as you see, nothing at all is lost by checking for the minor suit stopper as you go. Well, you just have to add up the points. Simone, how, do you, how strong do you have to be as opener to invite to five clubs? Well, you've got to figure out about what you think your partner has and add it up. I mean, I can't put an exact number on that. If you open on 12 points and partner takes you to four, then you can probably go to five if you have 15 points, you know, 14 points. There isn't some there isn't an exact formula for that or anything. Okay. Now look at the north hand. North has a nice 10, 13 points, five clubs. But north already has all three other suits stopped. It's got them all stopped, right? if you count the king double 10 because he's the clearer. So three no trump. You don't even have to make the two club bid. If you've got the inverted minor type of raise, especially with a game forcing hand and all the other suits stopped, bid it, bid no trump. If you have 10 to 12, bid two no trump with all the other suits stopped. Okay, now let's look at the diamond situation. This was easy because everything stayed at the one level. It goes a club, a diamond or a heart or a spade or something like that. Uh, if you've been inverted miners on four clubs, you are making a mistake. You, way too often you're in a seven card fit and you have no place to go. If you don't have a, if you have an unstopped suit, you have no place to play. And if you play this so-called short club where you open on a two-card club suit, start opening on, start opening better minor. Opening a two-card club suit is because somebody's afraid to open a three-card diamond suit. And there's only one, there's one and only one hand where you ever would open a three-card diamond suit anyway. And that's when you have exactly four, four, three, two distribution. And about 95% of the time, partner is going to have a major. So you're never going to play in diamonds anyway. So open one diamond with three. It does not ever hurt anything. Okay, so now in the case of diamonds, you might wonder, like, how do you find the stopper in clubs? Well, the process is the same. This time we're starting at diamonds, but I just bid my next cheapest, the cheapest stopper I've got, which in this case would be two hearts. All right, now partner in this case happens to have stoppers in both clubs and spades. And so bids no trump. Let's see, seven, six is 13. That's enough for three no trump. So clubs never even was an issue. Okay, one diamond. North has uh, 10 points and the other three suits all stopped. So 10 to 12, two no trump. Opener can add up, what, what do we have here? Uh, five was nine, if I was 14, three no trump.
You guys must be spending more time trying to save these hands than watching them. So one diamond, two diamonds. Now, I have an unstop suit, so I can't bid no trump, but I can show my heart stopper. Partner who has both black suits stopped, bids no trump, three because he's got enough points for it. So these auctions actually go pretty easily, pretty straightforwardly, and you always find whether you have a stopper in every suit or not. Oh, I don't want to undo that. Claim it. You always find out whether you have a stopper in every suit. There's just no, no nothing can fall between the cracks. Like the people who bid uh, no Trump immediately to show major suits stopped. Well, their minor, their other minor suit falls in, in the cracks. They don't know about it. You do this, you have no problem. Yes, I am, Joan. Why? Okay, I have no heart stopper, but I have a spade stopper, so I'm going to play the spade. Show the spade stopper. Partner happens to have hearts and clubs stopped and did snow trump. Okay, let me see if, well, here, this is another example of. One diamond, two diamonds. South has all three suits stopped. So South can be the one to just bid no Trump immediately. Okay, minimum hand, say two no Trump, let partner decide. But all suits stopped. We haven't gotten to a case yet where we had an unstopped club suit, but we will. Okay, so I have heart stopped. I will show my heart stopper. Partner has spades stopped. So what do I know about partner's hand? He has a spade stopper. Do I know anything else? How do you know he doesn't have club stopped? Because if he had both spades and club stopped, he would bid no Trump himself. We do know, Krista, we do know. If he had spades and clubs both stopped, he would bid no Trump. He didn't, it never got skipped. It's just that he knows already that he doesn't have a club stopper. So he's bidding two spades to say, I have a spade stopper, but I don't have a club stopper, or I would have been no Trump. South knows that. South has got to figure that out. If he had a club stopper, he would already bid no Trump, so he can't have a club stopper, and I don't have a club stopper, so three diamonds. Now, as we get onto some of these, you're going to find out there's some inferences. It's really important to pay attention to what partner has denied as well as what partner has shown. Okay, I have a heart stopper. I'll bid two hearts. Now, North doesn't have all the suits stopped because he doesn't know about spades yet, but he does have a club stopper. 
So he bypasses the spades and bids his club stopper. Now, South knows that North doesn't have spades stopped, but does have a club stopper. So South with its spades stopper can bid no trump. Three diamonds does not, three diamonds, wait, three diamonds. You mean if you're going back to the minor and you bid three instead of four or five? Yeah, three diamonds would say I don't have enough to bid game. Partner can invite or bid game themselves if they want. Krista, that's a good question because when it's a diamond opening, the, this particular auction can get you up to the three level without ever having the ability to invite. In my opinion, you're better off to show the club stopper anyway because I would much rather play three no trump and go down once in a while than miss a lot of them. So if you're if you're really uncomfortable with that idea, then you can decide not to show the club stopper, but then you'll end up playing in uh, diamonds when you might very well have been able to play in three no trump. I mean, you're still going to play at the three level anyway. After two hearts, you're going to have to play at least the three diamond level. So if you're going to play at the three level anyway, you might as well play no trump. Find out if you got the stopper and play no trump. So always keep in mind the part about the first person who knows all suits are stopped bids no trump. The first person who knows there's an unstopped suit rebids the minor. Okay, so in this case, North has denied a spade stopper. Right? So I don't have a spade stopper either. Queen third is not enough, especially when the opponents know that we're, we're weak on spades. So I'm just bidding three diamonds. Okay, let me get back to the questions. Um, in addition to Charlie's question, I'm not sure who Char Charlie is, or do you mean Carly? How do you differentiate between three diamonds with 10 and three diamonds with 13 high card points? Three diamonds with 10 or 13. How do you differentiate between three diamonds with 10 points? Uh, nobody's bidding three diamonds with 10 points here. I don't understand the question, I'm sorry. And again, how many points do you need to bid four diamonds as an invitation to five? Well, five of a minor, you're supposed to need 29 high card points or some distribution points if it's a real distributional hand. 29 points. If you have shown 10, then partner better have 19 to be bidding game directly. And in fact, it's actually pretty rare for these hands to go to five of a minor. You have to have a, a big hand like the 19 point hand to even be considering it. All right, now, now we're come to the really fun part of this, which is on this hand, uh, after the three club bid, South knows that North doesn't have a spade stopper. But it's not impossible that North could have something like Jack Doubleton that would not qualify as a stopper. But yet combined with South's Queen third, it makes a stopper. 
We call a situation like that half stoppers. Queen third is a half stopper. Jack third is a half stopper. King doubleton can often be treated as a half stopper. And sometimes you'd like to find out if your partner has the other half and together you have a stop. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, how do you do that? So one diamond, two diamonds. South does the very normal thing. Doesn't have a heart stopper. Bids a spade stopper, which as I said, I consider this kind of a shaky one, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, now, South, South denied a heart stopper, right? We all agree, South has denied a heart stopper. 20, 96, you guys are getting me all the way up to 100. That would be super. From North's point of view, there is no stopper. He doesn't have a stopper at hearts either. If North had a stopper, he also has a club stopper, he could bid no trump. If he has nothing, no heart stopper at all, he would bid three diamonds. Everybody agree to that? If North has no heart stopper, knowing that his partner doesn't, he would bid three diamonds. If North had a heart stopper and a club stopper, he would bid three no trump. Those are the two choices of what he can bid. He either has a heart stopper or he doesn't. Okay. Well, this is very subtle. You got to think hard about this. Because of those two statements, if he shows a club stopper, why would he be showing a club stopper? He already knows South doesn't have a heart stopper. If North had a heart stopper, he'd been no trouble. If he doesn't, he knows we shouldn't be in no trouble. So this bid is, there's two different ways this can happen. This bid says, do you have a half a heart stopper? I'm not willing to give up yet and bid three diamonds. I know you don't have a heart stopper, but I got a half, do you have a half? This is how you ask for a half a stopper and show, show and ask for a half a stopper. You do not meet the requirements to bid no Trump yourself. And you already know your partner doesn't have a heart stopper. So why show, uh, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, heart stopper. So why show the club stopper at all? The answer is because you have a half a heart stopper and you're still not willing to give up and quit. Well, in this case, South does have a heart stopper and can thus bid three no trump, half a heart stopper and can bid three no trump. This is how you find the half stopper in each hand. No, in the case of clubs, that's the second way we're going to do. Can you do it if you're bidding clubs? Yes. Okay, South doesn't have a heart stopper, but does have a spade stopper. North also doesn't have a spade stop, also doesn't have a heart stopper, but he has a half. He has a half. 
he can show a stopper in the other suit. This, this is the same rule. If South, sorry, phew, I'm talking too fast tonight. If North has no heart stopper, he should bid three clubs because neither of you has. If North has a heart stopper and a club stopper, he would bid three no Trump. So when he shows a club stopper, not that, 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 that diamond stopper, sorry, when he shows a diamond stopper, that says, I don't have a heart stopper or I would have bid three no Trump myself, but I do have a diamond stopper and half a heart stopper. Can you help? In this case, South cannot help. No help in hearts and goes back to clubs. If you have enough points for game, bid five. Keep in mind, the opponents are going to know where your weakness is on these auctions. These half stopper auctions that don't find a stopper, the opponents are going to know where it is. But the good news is you didn't just blast a 3-0 Trump and hope for the best. You actually found out that you don't have hard stopped. And you play a very nice club contract. Okay, what's South need to do? Well, South has a heart stopper, so that's easy. Okay, next would be spades from North. North doesn't have a spade stopper. North doesn't know about South spades because South hasn't had a chance to show or deny. So he denies a spade stopper by bidding three clubs. Now back to South. South knows no spade stopper, right? If South had a spade stopper, South would bid no Trump. What if North has a half a spade stopper? This is the second way in which you can ask for a half a stopper, is simply by bidding Now remember, South, if South had a full spade stopper, she would bid three no Trump. That's why you have to pay attention to the subtleties here. If South had a full spade stopper, she would bid three no Trump. She cannot have a full spade stopper. So what is she doing? She's asking for a half. North says, nope, sorry, I don't have it. Three opposite three, you make three no Trump? Not if the opponents have five two. All right, so there's two different bids that may be a half stopper bid. The first one is where you show a stopper bypassing a suit the partner has also bypassed. The second one is when two suits have already been shown by the time it gets back to you, if you bid the third one, you're saying, I can't bid 3 no myself, but I'm asking if you have a stopper before I sign off in the minor. Okay, so let's have everybody split up and have everybody whose screen name starts with a through L, kibitz north only, and everyone whose screen name starts with M through Z, kibitz south only. So 
So switch around so you're looking at only the north or only the south hands. Okay, the first one is where you show a stopper bypassing a suit that partner already bypassed. Partner bypassed the suit and you're bypassing it. Okay, that means you don't have a stopper in it either, but you're continuing to show stopper in still another in the, the third suit. Okay, that also is asking for a half a stopper in the bypassed suit. Um, second type is you bid the third suit rather than Green you know, Trump asks for a half a stopper in the third suit. Those are the two different ways the auction may go where you end up asking for a half a stopper if you want. Okay, everybody kibbutzing either north or south? Nobody, no looking at all the hands for a minute here. We're going to try a couple of these. All right, so the first couple of bids are easy. You go one diamond past two diamonds. All right, south. Those of you who are kibbutzing south, what is your next bid? Everybody whose name is M through Z should be telling me two hearts. Good. Excellent. Shows a heart stopper. North, what is your next bid? Yeah, shout them out. That's right. And frankly, nobody cares if you're... <laughs> if you're right or wrong, except you, so. Okay, so North wants to bid three clubs. Three clubs is, well, I, I won't say this, I'll let South figure it out. Three clubs. All right, South, what do we know about partner's hand? Partner has a club stopper. And does not have a spade stopper. Good. Bypass spades, no spade stopper. But with a half a stopper, we can ask if partner has a half. Okay. This is the second method where we actually bid the third suit, saying, I know we both bought, you've bypassed this, but I'm not ready to bypass and give up yet. Do you have a half stopper? Now, north. Why is your partner bidding spades instead of no trump? If she has a spade stopper, she should be bidding three no trump. So it's a half a stopper and wants a half from you. And you have a half stopper. Queen Doubleton counts. Three no trump. Keep in mind that partner has opened the bidding and presumably has somewhere around 13 high card points if they're considering no trump anyway. And the inverted minor bidder has 10 high card points. So you're starting at a minimum of 23. So yes, it's possible that you could have 23 points between you, but it's also very likely that you have more, 24, 12 opposite 12 will very often make three no trump. So even 24 points if it's real balanced between the two hands. 12 opposite 12 is a good three no trump. 13 opposite 12 or 12 opposite 13, whatever, that's enough for game and no trump. So you're automatically very close to three no trump anyway. 
So finding out whether you have all the suits stopped or not is really more important, more valuable than how many high card points do you have, partner? Should we quit because we're, we've only got 24 or 23? Don't forget, you've got at least a five card suit too. That should be a source of tricks. You've got a supported five card suit to work with. So to tell you the truth, I have never had a problem with getting too high. And if you've got a partner who knows how to do this, you don't have a problem playing three no trump down one because you have an unstopped suit. Okay, South people, what's your bid? Two spades. Good. Okay. North people, what's your bid? And why? If you have no stopper in hearts, you should be bidding three diamonds. If you have no stopper in hearts, you should be bidding three diamonds. If you have a stopper in hearts and in clubs, you should be bidding three no trump. So South people, what does your partner have? This is the method one. Partner has a club stopper. Do they also have a heart stopper? How do you know that your partner does not have a heart stopper? Because they didn't bid three no Trump. Why didn't they just sign off in diamonds? Because they have a half a heart stopper. So it looks like most of you are getting the idea pretty well here. So what's your bid? Okay, do we have a half a stopper? No, we don't. We don't have a half a stopper to go with partner's half. So we give up. Say, thanks, partner, but I don't have it. Okay, one more, and then we're going to switch north and south and do a couple from the other side. And I think you guys will have it here. Okay, so one diamond, two diamonds. Okay, south, what's your bid? Two hearts. North, what's your bid? Three clubs. You don't have a spade stopper. That is not a spade stopper. But you do have a club stopper. Okay, south. Partner denied a spade stopper, right? Partner denied a spade stopper. So if you didn't have one either, you would just sign off. But you have a half. You can find out if partner has a half by bidding three spades. Bidding the suit. Okay, North, what's your bid? Reno Trump. Hey, I do have a half stopper partner. 
Thank you very much. Okay, everybody who's kibitzing north, switch to kibitz south. Everybody who's kibitzing south, switch to kibitz north. Pay me with a ready when you're set so we can do a couple more. Uh-oh, I just got a really strange screen here. I don't know if I am in trouble or not. Um, the cable may be crashing here. I'm not at all sure how to fix this. We just went to a massive full screen video that has no way to reduce it. And it says not responding. Okay, well, I will, obviously I'm going to have to kill this and it will kill the table. So I will be right back. So everybody get set kibitzing north or south. And then I'll do this last couple of hands here. Yeah, one club looks like the right bid. And for north, two clubs is the right bid. All right, now south, what's your next bid? Two more subscribers, yay. Okay, you have a diamond stopper. That's the next cheapest bid. So you bid two diamonds. Okay, north. Partner has a diamond stopper. What do you want to say? Two hearts. You have a heart stopper. Okay, south. Your partner has a heart stopper. What else do you know about your partner's hand? Queen empty third is not a stopper. Okay. The partner, from South's point of view, partner has a heart stopper, but he has no stop, spade stopper or he would have been no trump. Queen XX is not a stopper, not for this purpose. Okay, so shall we sign off in three clubs? Jack 10-9 is a half a stopper, yes. Jack 10-X is a half a stopper. Well, if we had nothing in spades either, we would simply sign off in three clubs. But we can still ask about a half a stopper. We don't have a full stopper or we would have been no trump. All right, so north, your partner wants to know if you have a heart stopper because if she had a spade stopper, she, sorry, wants to know if you have a spade stopper because if she had a spade stopper, she would be bidding no trump directly. Okay, do you have? No. So we sign off in our minor, which is clubs. Sorry, partner, don't got it. Yay. Okay, South, so what's your bid? Two hearts, good. 
Okay, North. What does your partner not have? That's awesome, Babs. You are amazing. Thanks, IAC is right. 68 to 99. Oh, we hit 100. Yay. Thank you all. Okay, your partner has no diamond stopper, right? You don't know about space, but she has no diamond stopper. So you don't have a spade stopper. So you can't bid that. Okay, so south. Queen XX is not a stopper. Queen and too small is not a stopper for this purpose. It is not good enough. What happens is, let's suppose you're the declarer and you have queen third. Left-hand opponent on opening lead leads that suit to his partner's ace and his partner leads right back through your queen and they take all their tricks. Queen 10 is usually good enough Queen and anything smaller than that, no. Okay, well, everybody wants to bid three spades. Let's see what three spades means. What do you think, North? Yeah, three spades is only a half because otherwise partner would have bid no trump themselves. But you have a half to go with it, and you find a very nice you know, Trump contract. All these questions about how many points do you need to do this bidding? You need whatever you think you need. If you are not comfortable bidding above three clubs, then pass two clubs. Without the half, we would end up in four clubs. That's right, because we're already at the three diamond level. Or three spade level, actually. Well, sometimes in, in, with the partial uh, stopper requests, you often end up at the four level. But, you know, I'm still telling you, you got very close to 25 points, which should be enough for the four level. And you have a known long runnable suit. Okay, last one. South, what's your bid? Two hearts, okay. North, what's your bid? Three clubs, okay. South, what's your bid? No, you don't have to bid three spades because your partner has already denied a spade stopper. Okay, let's see, am I doing this right? One, two, that's two hearts. Yeah, partner has already denied a spade stopper. Oh, yeah, so you're right. You bid three, three spades. Yes, you have to ask. Do you have a half? That's a good question. Is Jack Doubleton a half a stopper? 
the truth is I treat it that way. And only once in my entire life have I ever seen it. It wasn't even me, but I did see it on ViewGraph one time uh, where they ended up in 3 no Trump with Jack X opposite Queen X. So it's not impossible that that can happen. And if you're uncomfortable with that, then don't treat Jack X as a stopper or even Queen X might not be enough. Jack 9 looks good to me. I mean, it could go wrong, of course. Any, any of this can go wrong on occasion, of course. But, you know, this is a, a really good system. And it gets you to no Trump contracts with even half and half stopper in a suit. It keeps you out of no Trump contracts when you clearly have an unstopped suit. So for what it's worth, I hope you can find partners who can understand, especially the subtleties of the partials. <laughs> yeah, quick straw, that's about right. I don't remember what it was, but I just remember noticing it because that's something I always wondered if whatever happened to me. <laughs> So thank you all for coming. It was fun. You guys were really good with questions. Man, when I teach in the bill, it's like drawing blood to get questions from people. And you guys were just bombarding me with them. And that's great because it means you're really interested in thinking. And I appreciate that. It's fun to teach people who are really into learning. Okay. So um, thank you all for whoever subscribed. I appreciate that. I'll send in my application now for a permanent URL. Thank you, Babs, for sort of organizing this whole thing. I really appreciate that. And you all should, you owe it to her too, because she's the one who talked me into doing this. Yes, Eileen, we got to 100. Yay. So thank you very much, Babs. Thank you all for coming. And I'll guess I'll be seeing you all around. So if you're interested, oh, by the way, I should, I don't know if she put in the link, but I will just put in one little plug for my, um, my classes on online bridge lessons. If you haven't already, sign up for the newsletter there and you'll get like a couple.